This is a case of a 48-year-old Bulgarian female with a history of hypertension and intracerebral bleed four months ago. On clinical examination, she is hypertensive, obese, and she has got a tenderness in the right flank. On lab, she's got a normal renal function without proteinuria. We do an ultrasound of the abdomen, and we see a pretty hyperechogenic liver, and straight away in a transverse view through the kidney, we see that the right kidney is enlarged and has multiple cysts. We scan in a transverse way, and we see that there is a, a large cyst in the, un, in the lower pole of the right kidney with a diameter of nearly 10 centimeters. This was the area where she was quite uh, tender on clinical examination. When we try to visualize the right kidney in the longitudinal way, it's not so easy. Here we can estimate that the length of the right kidney is nearly 20 centimeters. It's often a problem with polycystic kidneys um, that they don't fit on the image. And now we look at the left kidney. In the, we see the spleen and under the spleen we have also a polycystic kidney. A kidney with multiple cysts. The parenchyma of the kidney is hypoechoic compared to the spleen. In the spleen we could not see any cysts. And now we are in the in a transverse way in the epigastrium. And we see the vena mesenterica superior and arteria mesenterica superior and we look in the area of the pancreas we can see no cysts here we see the aorta which we measure in diameter and on the left we see the vena cava inferior We conclude the examination by looking in the hypogastrium and we see the bladder and we see like something within the lumen but if we go and scan in the longitudinal way we'll see that it's the uterus who gives this image.